Ryan Terry here. Welcome to Muscle & Strength. Today I'm going to take you through my pre-workout routine. Typically before I train I normally go for a high carb, high protein meal. Um, but at the minute I'm just trying to mix things up and try and get calories in in a more enjoyable way. So I've really taken to basically blending a big smoothie together before I train. So we're going to be hitting the gym in about an hour from now. So what I'm doing at the minute, I'm doing 50 grams of oats, rolled oats, oatmeal. I'm using about 100 ml of um, soya milk and then I top it with a little bit of water. Ice, I use about 40 to 45 grams of peanut butter, crunchy, got to have that crunch in there. Full banana and then two scoops of whey protein, which is around 50 grams of protein. Um, I blend that up and like I say, it's just nice, easy, digestible, ready before I train. When I first started training, uh, I was very, very conscious on having just carbs and protein pre-workout one hour before. Uh, I was very strict on that. But as I've adapted, as I've got older, my body's changed, um, I've always struggled to hold weight. Um, so I've recently, and I say recently, just into this off season, I've started switching up my chicken and rice, which I've always had for the last 15 years before I train. And I'm now taking like a smoothie, which I just wanted to try something different. And, and I think bodybuilding, yes, it's about consistency and finding what works for you. But then I think as well, it's, it's trying different things. And that's where I'm at at the minute. I want to put some weight on and I, and I feel like adding those extra calories through fats and through different sources of carbs has been helping me recently. Just a little bit more of an insight into the ingredients and, and why I take what I take. So obviously we've got peanuts, you can have alm almond nut butter, um, and that's to get your essential fats in. And for me, who is quite a hard gainer, it's getting some extra calories in, which is quite easy to digest. I'm going for a banana because it's fast acting sugars, fast acting carb. Soya milk, um, I'm not brilliant with dairy. Uh, milk of a whole actually upsets my tummy quite a bit. So. Soy milk is quite good for me. It's got like a creamy taste to it um, and it doesn't affect me obviously before I train. I'm going for a whey protein because it's fast acting. That's what we want. Oats because it's a great carb source and obviously I need energy for training. And then like I say, the water is just to um, basically make it a bit thinner because I don't have it too thick and gloopy. But if you want to keep adding more calories to it, a great way is to add frozen berries. Um, that obviously is gonna get some more like antioxidants into the body as well as extra carbs. I'm gonna do a shameless plug now for my channel. Uh, so if you wanna go over and see more day in the life like eating wise and what I do when I'm prepping for shows or at different times of the year, then check my channel out. It's Ryan J Terry uh, and make sure you subscribe to it. Come on, give it a out. yeah. <laughs> Got some protein. <gasps> yeah. Look at him. He's going to be massive being that gym in no time. <laughs> I'm a big advocate of solid food. So I, I think solid food is better than any other supplement you can take. But I think supplements are there for a reason and they're there to supplement a balanced diet. And the, the key part for me in taking supplementation is around training for the absorption rate. So I like to take um, EAAs uh, pre and EAAs intra. I'll add um, a liquid carb, so I have a cyclic dextrin or Vitargo, or there's a, a carb 10 now, which is a very fast acting, good quality uh, carb. Um, possibly take caffeine. Um, I'm not a huge, huge fan of being too reliant on, on pre-workout, like caffeine based. But if I've had a long day and I need something just to pick me up, that's always there in the gym bag. Um, and then as I go into post-workout, I will have a shake, which has carbohydrates in as well. Uh, when people say, how do you get motivated to train? I've never really struggled. Don't get me wrong, I'm not, I don't go in every day with the best attitude or whatnot. But especially when I'm dieting, I will never miss a training session. I'll never go in half-hearted because I've always wanted to be world number one. And I've always had that competitive side of me, which anyone has who steps on stage, you've got to have some competitive side to you. But 
if ever I was like slacking or if I missed reps or if I was, I, I'd kind of like fight with myself, which some people might think is a bit mental, but I'd say to myself, would the likes of Jeremy Buendia, Sadiq and Jason Poston and anyone I used to be up against, would they be training or would they be missing out on meals? And sure enough, that used to get me fired up for the session. my pre-workout routine thanks so much for watching and please subscribe below